The materials you'll need to make this Team Skull necklace are a cutout of the Team Skull logo. I put mine on Photoshop and tried a few different sizes and then printed that out, and I chose this one. Silver and black clay, something to seal in the design. I'm using glossy Mod Podge, but you may use sculpy glass glaze or triple thick. Jump rings, you'll need one in this size and two smaller rings. An X-Acto knife, or you can use a sharp edge or a clay tool if you don't have one. A paintbrush for the gloss. A necklace clasp of your choice. I'll be using this one. A necklace chain. It should be larger than this one, but I'm trying to use up all the supplies I have at home before going to buy more. A rolling pin or a pasta machine to flatten your clay. I'll be using the pasta machine. You'll also need a bead reamer and baby oil if you have them. First, cut out the logo using scissors or your X-Acto knife. Condition and flatten the black clay. Make sure it's big enough to fit the logo. I used my pasta machine on a level one for this. Use an X-Acto knife or your sharp edge to cut the logo out of the clay. Smooth the edges of this piece with your fingers and then put it to the side. Now you can condition and flatten your silver clay. Mine is being temperamental, so I really had to work with it to soften it. I found that baby oil really helps to soften the clay. The actual softener works too, but I just found that baby oil is a bit cheaper. Flatten the silver clay and make sure it's big enough for the logo. I made mine in two pieces, one for the S part of the head of the skull and one for the three lines that make the teeth of the skull. I used my pasta machine on a level two for this part. Use a sharp edge or the X-Acto knife to cut out this part of the logo. Then add the silver clay cutouts to the black background. Use the paper logo as a stencil. Use some TLS if it's necessary, but I used baby oil, which seems to help it to adhere on its own. Smooth out the edges of the silver clay. Also smooth out the top of imperfections and dirt using baby oil. Add a hole for the jump ring using a bead reamer or a sharp edge. A dotting tool will work too. Place the logo on a tray and bake in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes. When it cools down, go ahead and glaze it. Two coats for maximum protection. Add a jump ring to the hole. Add the clasp to the chain on one side using a jump ring. Then put the other end of the chain through the jump ring on the logo. And lastly, attach the other end of the clasp to the chain and you're done. Thanks for watching, and if you like Pokemon like I do, here are some other tutorials I made. I even made a tutorial on the Team Skull Bandana and Hat, which are perfect for cosplaying. I'm also working on more for that, so subscribe to see what the next part of the costume will be. You can also see more about me and my life and my tutorial sneak peeks by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those links are provided in my description. I also have a website where you can buy my crafts. If you want to buy this necklace, it'll be in my shop. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment with your favorite Pokemon down below if you made it this far. Bye! Okay. Keep going. You're good, you're good.